So in this episode, I've got two things going on. Firstly, I'm trying out a brand new lens. This is not a lens review. This is for me to see how it looks on YouTube because I'm going to be doing a full studio tour. So in the next episode, maybe the next one or two episodes, I'm going to be doing a detailed tour of every bit of kit I've got in the grading suite. And I thought to test the lens, I should just do a YouTube video. So this one is going to be another open effects. I'm going to be looking at the color stabilizer. Now this is a fantastic tool, particularly if you're a beginner. If you've got a camera op who has got a little bit twitchy on the exposure during the shot that you want, so the exposure is changing or the white balance is changing, then this tool can help you equalize that automatically. So uh, let's just go and take a look. So I've got a single shot here on my timeline. This is a drone shot. This is an actual shot that I've graded before in a program. So this is a real case scenario I'm showing you here. And I'm just using a much simpler note tree than I would normally just to show you how the color stabilizer works. But to show you my color management settings, you can see down here in my color management that I'm set to default, which is DaVinci YRGB. And my timeline color space is Rec 709 Gamma 2.4. And if you don't understand the color management settings, don't worry about it. You can still follow along exactly what I'm doing here. Now, to use the color stabilizer, the ideal scenario is you want to have pretty much graded your shot to start with. You want it in a good um, space. And the manual actually recommends that you don't have highlights that are overexposed, which they clearly are here, as you can see on my waveform. So what I'm going to do in my first node here is adjust my offset and my lift gamma gain to get the image a bit more pleasing. So I'm going to find a good reference point in here, probably somewhere around about here, where we're starting to get a bit of detail back in the sky. I'm going to bring my offset down to make sure we're not clipping at all in here and get a bit more definition in those trees. Let me just bring down the green in the offset. So it's my green printer lights and lift up my gain a little bit there. Let's drop my lift and I'm going to add a bit of saturation. Just a pretty basic adjustment there. OK, something like that. Now, I want to bring back a bit more detail in the sky if I can. So I've created a second node here. I've called it Highlight and I'm literally going to use my Highlight Recovery tool here and pull that back a little bit. Remember, this is drone footage, so I'm not going to get amazing results out of this, but that is a little bit more detailed than it was. I'm going to press Shift and D so you can see before and after. And we're in a much better starting point. Now, I'm going to add a second, uh, sorry, a third node. It's just going to be a serial node. And I'm going to add on my color stabilizer. So I've done as good preparation as I can before we do the stabilization. All right, and let me just label that now. Stabilize. Okay. So we have this tool here. Now, what I'm going to do is just change mode. If I press Shift and F, now that I've used my color tools, I can just focus on the color stabilizer itself. I'm going to bring my nodes back so you can see those. But this gives you a nice large image so you can concentrate on what's happening to the corrected image. So let's have a look at the tools we've got. First of all, you've got the region of analysis. So you can select a dedicated area or entire frame. So I'm going to go entire frame first. I'm going to show you both scenarios here. And in order to access the rest of the menus, you have to press Live Region Analyze. And that then enables all this area. And the channels to stabilize, we have a mode. We have balance and brightness, or you have RGB. So you can do the individual red, green, and blue channels separately. I don't want to do that. I want to work in my brightness. Okay, my white balance is actually true throughout this shot. So I don't need to adjust my, I don't need to stabilize my white balance. I just need to stabilize my brightness. But you can choose either or here. And the stabilize mode is going to adjust levels and contrast. Now we have other options in here. You have offset and gain. Now I'm going to choose offset and that's because I'm in a display referred color space. I've already adjusted my nodes to be in Rec 709. I'm not in a camera color space as it were. If I was, I would probably choose gain, but I'm going to stick with offset. Experiment with the two. If you're not sure which one, just experiment and see which one gives you a better result. But I'm going to try offset for now. And the captured analysis values is the value it gives when it does the analysis. So you can adjust this. You can override it in a, in a manual way using this slider. Global blend obviously allows you to mix back the amount of the effect. All right, so let's press live region analyze. And once you've done that, you then need to choose the frame that best fits the exposure that you want. I'm just going to check I've got white balance deselected, which I have. So all I'm stabilizing is brightness. So I want to choose the best brightness frame. Now here you can see that's my, that's my big exposure change. You can see that there. So I want it after that because I've got much better detail going on in the sky. So I'm going to choose this as my reference point. 
And all I've got to do now is literally press, I'm just going to check that's on, which it is, and just going to press play. And that is now analyzing my image. It's the entire frame it's analyzing. And that's done. You don't have to do anything. It's literally doing it now. Now the actual result of that is not that pleasing. And this is because it's taking into account this foreground and the sky. And these two have very different exposure levels. So it's going to be very hard for it to actually analyze. So I'm going to stop that there. And what I'm going to do is just reset this. And in fact, yeah, so I've just reset the whole effect there. And I'm going to choose now a selected area instead of an entire area. And what I want to do is just take, let's just take the forest. And I just want to adjust the brightness for the forest. And I'm going to let the sky do whatever it needs uh, in the background. So I just want this bit to be stabilized because this is the bit where you notice the exposure change. So I'm going to press live region analyze. I'm going to take off white balance again. I only want to stabilize the brightness. I want this done via offset, not gain. Press live region analyze again. Choose your best frame. This one is well balanced for me or is is a good brightness level for me press play and now that should go through and give me a nice even level of exposure which it has so you can see that i don't get that harsh exposure change anymore and that's done so that's it i don't have to do anything i don't have to apply it that is done and that is a really quick and easy fix for in-camera aperture changes i've done that in literally a few seconds so the color stabilizer is definitely worth checking out. It doesn't work in every scenario, but when it works, it does work really well. So uh, let me know in the comments what you think of the new lens. Let me know what you think of the color stabilizer. Let me know what you want to see in my studio tour. I'm going to show you every bit of kit, but just want to make sure I don't miss anything out. If there's particular bits of software or something you want me to go into detail, let me know in the comments before I film it. And let me know if you want me to do it sort of vlog style as well. I was thinking about doing maybe a whole day of being me whatever that looks like. Um, so let me know in the comments if you've got any thoughts on that and uh, look after yourselves and I will see you in the next episode.